I got zeroed. I got the one shot. I got deleted. I got destroyed here in time Raiders because I wanted to get my hands on some PVP and you could see that happening back here. Okay. We got a lot of action going on and look, we've been playing the game here on the channel for a couple of weeks now and shout out to time Raiders for sponsoring another video on the channel. There's going to be a link down below. Try the game. If you like Japanese style MMORPGs, then I think you're going to like it, but I wanted to get my hands on some PVP. I wanted to get some blood on these blades boys, because look at them. Look at these. I've upgraded the swords since I made a video here on time Raiders and, and the shades just speak for themselves. Okay. I am out for blood. I'm looking to get my hands dirty. So today I'm going to share with you my first experiences with some PVP in this game. And oh my God, I went up against some of the strongest players that are probably in the entire game not even just my server because this game is cross server. So the deck was kind of stacked up against me. Okay. Now the first game mode that I want to introduce to you guys is called West Lake duel. That's what we're doing here. This is the lake. Okay. And those people are, are the duelists and look, we got blades flying. We got bullets all going all over the places. We got the sages just doing absolute work over here, but the game mode is simple. It is tried and true team deathmatch. It's three players versus three players. And that's it. There's a couple of buffs at the center of the ring. One of them gives you increased attack. There's one for defense. There's one for health. But besides that, you are left to your own devices. You are left to the skills that you have accrued. You are left to the weapons and the gear that you have accumulated. You're also at the mercy of matchmaking. Okay. And here you're watching some gameplay. I, we won a couple and we lost a bunch. Okay. I'm going to keep it real with you guys because sometimes times you go up against some max level players. Okay. I'm level 294 and I was going up against level 400s. Okay. But then there's other games where I'm going up against somebody who's level 194 and I can literally one shot them. So this leads to some interesting chaos. Okay. I've recorded some of my raw reactions. So let's just jump right into it. All right. It's time to pop off boys. It's time to pop off. We've got, uh, we've got nobody max level on our, on our team. This is fine though. This is fine. I'm running in here. Okay. We're going to pop off. We're going to do as much damage as we can. I died immediately. I I got one shot or I got one shot, but that's okay. We got our level uh, 395 here. She's still holding on strong. She's still doing AOE damage. She's still popping off. And I think she has fallen. Oh my God. All right, let's go. Let's go. They only have one max level player here. No big deal, boys. No big deal. No problem. We're going to run right up here. We're going to try and grab the increased HP. We're going to see if we can grab that before we inevitably pass away and boom. Okay. Gates open, gates open, gates open. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, grab the HP, grab the HP. Boom. There it is. Okay. Then big damage, big damage, big damage. Let's go. Boom. Boom. I, I bro, I got one shot again. What? I mean, I'm definitely the, I'm definitely the weakest link here. That's a little bit unfortunate. I'm not going to lie to you guys. All right. Let's see. Oh, we got this in the bag boys. We got this in the bag. These two over here, they got nothing on us boys. They have nothing on us. I don't even need the, the buffs as long as the, the, their big boy doesn't come after me right away. As long as I'm not attacked by their like max level player, we should be Gucci. Oh, we're good. Okay. We're popping off. We're popping off. We're popping off. Boom. There it. Oh, I didn't have to do anything. Oh, we got this in the bag. Look, we got a level 400 on our team, bro. We got level 400. I feel like I probably don't have to do anything. Like we're going to just, just spawn in and one shot all them. We're, we're just going to spawn in one shot. All them. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. You're going to see the, the thickest damage you've ever seen in your life. Look, we're powering up. Okay. We're going to, we're going to run in there. We're going to go in. Boom, 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 boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's grab that attack buff and boom. Ah, look at that. Our level 400, our level 400 with, with his gat. He just, and he just ended all of them all in one shot. That's all it took. Okay. We have two level 400s, bro. No way. No way. This matchmaking is against me. Ladies and gentlemen, the matchmaking is against me. What am I supposed to do? I'm going to go grab the defense. We'll see if maybe I can save myself with the increased defense. Like that's pretty much. Oh, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Oh, ooh, ooh. go get it, get it, get it. Oh, okay. 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 Pop. Okay. We're jumping in there. We're doing damage. We're popping off. We're going to do. Okay. Okay. We're staying alive and we died. Oh, oh, but our level 396 is still alive. She's doing damage. She's trying to. Okay. And she also passed away. That's unfortunate, but honestly, okay. Honestly, it was, uh, she was able to take out two of them. She took out two. So she honestly, she pulled her weight way more than she really had to. That was pretty much, she knew she was going to lose with, with us on her team. Uh, and still popped the heck off. So that's incredible. All right, here we go. Once again, this might be the same girl that was just on my team, but we are, a, we're going to, we're going to, this is, there's no competition here. She is going to watch this, watch this, watch this. She, oh, she's going to destroy them. Look, what's the little cat doing down there? That's adorable. Oh, yo, yo. Okay. Look, I didn't even get to the fight. 
I didn't, even, I didn't even get to the fight yet. One fell swoop, just one, whoosh, and she killed them all. That's crazy. Oh, this one, this one's gonna be no problem. Look at, yo, we got Steph over here, max level. We got a max level. I'm guessing that's my, I've never seen anything higher than 400, so that's got to be max level. And these dudes stand no chance. Well, watch this, watch this, watch this. I mean, I can't even do anything. I can't. I won't even get to the fight before they they pass away. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. I'm first in, and I charge up. I'm doing my power ups. Boom. But oh, that's it. Done. Whole 180 percent. Oh, I got two of them. Okay, I'll take that. Let's see. Here. We got a couple of uh, level 200s once again. I think they they stand no chance against me. They stand no chance against your boy. I'm gonna be front and center. I want to be the first one to run in there. Okay. The shortest uh, distance between two points is a straight line. Okay. So I'm gonna stand right across from them and watch. Look, yo, Woozy already spawned in. He already spawned past the barrier. We're going in. We're hopping off. We're doing uh we're doing our buffs. We're buffing up. And look, our companion just jumps in there. Boom, boom, two, three shots. That's it. That's all it takes. We took zero damage. That was a full. Okay, I got. I only got one. I only got one defeat there. But uh, hey, this person's this person's a higher level than me. The, the level 400 just stood in the back. They didn't even do anything. We carried the max level player. I don't think that's how that's supposed to work. And my win rate is four out of ten. You guys see that win rate right there? That's pretty bad. How do I get on a team with Raven King? Okay, we have um we have a level. Oh oh, this could be a good, this is gonna be a good fight. This could be a good this could be a good fight. We got we got two max level players here. Um, I'm not gonna run in there at first. I'm gonna let the I'm gonna let the uh the max level player run in there, and then I'll 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 jump in afterwards. All right, let's run in. Yeah, let's pop off. Let's do our buffs. And let's see what we can do boys let's see what we can do uh we we we're taking a little bit of damage and we insta died we insta died now it's ghost cat versus one enemy uh it's a 1v1 ghost cat look like they're not even taking any damage raven king not taking damage either this is the battle for the ages raven king holds on by just a, a hair just by a fraction he was stunned ghost cat goes down that was a that was a close one boys that was a close match a 1v1 ghost cat so close here we go they have a max level we almost have a max level so this this is gonna be a tough one us two are definitely better than their than their you know we have our two players are better than their two players but they do have a max level player so hopefully i will survive um and we'll be we'll be good to go so we're buffing up we're gonna let them aggro the damage we're gonna let them tank for us real quick okay let them tank for us and uh we just jump in here boom one shot they're dead uh and here we go oh boom there it is and we're dealing damage and i i don't even know what's happening is that person are we out of hunt combat what are we glitching out here where's their last player i died uh and boom oh they're doing they're going 1v1 1v1 okay and it looks like that max level player oh that's raven king that's the dude at the top of the leaderboard yeah that's that's the dude right there that's that's number numero uno right there all right we're jumping in here a couple level 200 oh we got raven king on our team now boys oh my god the the plot has thickened once enemies now we have befriended one another uh and raven king probably doesn't have to do anything raven king could just stand in the back but i'm gonna jump in here i'm gonna run up and we're gonna see how much damage we're gonna deal here ready and bop okay we're, we're doing our we're doing our buffs we're popping off and look at that look raven king didn't have to show up his mere merely his presence gets us the w that's pretty much all that we need so as you can see okay i came in 18th so not too hot okay 18th out of 22 uh i really meant it when i said i got zero i got deleted i got destroyed okay so what does this get me coming in 18th i got four wins out of 10 matches so four to 10 40 percent win rate not too great okay so coming in 18th place i was able to get my hands on some hp relic keys which are actually pretty good okay those are useful some materials for our my hp relics and we got a nice chunk of fan fame here so that's the currency for the uh the clan shop so overall solid stuff you also get some rewards down here based on your points okay let's try our hand at another game mode this game mode is called border clash it's north and south they fight one another and if you've played rise of kingdoms this sort of reminded me of arc of osiris now it's not exactly like that but it does have you capturing different points around the map and whoever has the highest amount of points at the end is the winner or if you hit the point cap first then you actually win so it's sort of like a hard point type of, of game mode if you've played call of duty that's kind of what it reminded me of mostly and i'm gonna tell you guys real quick i was getting deleted once again however i think because of me because of my contribution in this game mode we pulled out the victory because of one thing that i paid attention to the most before the game even started and that was the rule book okay there are five strongholds on this jungle map they are not all the same they are not all 
equal. The strongholds near your spawning zones give you 45 points per second. The strongholds at the edges of the map give you 60 points per second. And the single stronghold at the center of the map gives you 90 points per second. So this right here told me before I even jumped in that the middle of the map is going to be crucial to winning this game because this holding this on a per second basis gives you double the points of holding the, the, the strongholds where you spawn. Additionally, if you die and you own the middle stronghold, you can respawn at that stronghold, which is what it says here. The middle stronghold can be used as a new spawn point rather than your starting spawn point. Most of the game, I was respawning at the middle stronghold, and this was huge for map control because it lets you rotate around the map and go to the strongholds that need your attention the most. Now, on top of that, you can also gather resources known as meteor jades across the map, and you can submit them to the item collector, and that'll get you battlefield points. Anyway, let's jump right into the game mode, okay? You can see here that these this is the uh, the different teams okay on the left here is the blue team this is the team that i'm on i believe there's eight or nine of us on the team which is why you don't see my name here you can't see anything if i'm blocking it huh but yeah as you can see we have a bunch of different players and they are from different servers so us server six server five down here i'm on server five so let's go ahead and hit play and let's see how this thing plays out okay so we spawn in there's a 10 minute timer for this game mode and we started at the water stronghold and you can see that the enemy captured fire at the exact same time as us. And here you can see it's a tie. Okay. The points are going up at the exact same time, which means that we get uh, captured at the same time here. I'm collecting the meteor Jade. And again, it took, it, it took a long time. And I was like, you know what? I'm out of here. I'm jumping on the, I'm jumping on the hog. Okay. I'm jumping on the motorcycle. We're whipping around the map. We grabbed the block damage reduction here. And I noticed like, wait a minute, I'm pretty sure that's an enemy, right? I'm over here. Uh, uh there, we're at the, near the, the lake stronghold. Okay. And this dude's just rolling up. He's rolling through. Okay. Mackie starts attacking me. I'm losing health. I'm coming after this dude. He thinks he could just capture this all by himself. And I'm like, oh heck no. But then I get one shot. I got one shot. That was it. I, I had, I had low health cause I was getting hit before and then boom, I died. Okay. So now things aren't looking so good. Uh, we respawn. We're spawning right at our spawn point. Okay. And here you can see red team dominating. Okay. They have double our points right now, which is not looking too good. You could see up in the top right corner, they've captured middle and they've captured Lake as well as their spawn point. Okay. We have water, we have thunder. We're chilling. So this dude's still, they're still here. They're still chilling. This rogue dude is on the enemy team. This Mackie guy on the en enemy team. They're literally at our spawn already. The game just started and it looks like saints was able to take him out. So shout out to saints. Uh, Mushin comes up here, challenges him, instantly kills me with his AOE. So I let them go at it. They're dueling. They're, they're one V one Uh, and Mushin looks like, uh, he takes out saints there. So RIP Saints. Okay. He was, I believe, the MVP of our team. And you'll see that he's popping off basically throughout this entire thing. So at this point, I'm like, okay, I'm going to grab this swiftness potion and I'm booking it. I'm out of here. Okay. I decide, you know what? I'm going to go rogue. I'm going to go off by myself. I'm going to go off on my own. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sneak around the map and I'm just going to rotate to whatever stronghold is is basically not being uh not being addressed not being considered okay that was my plan so here i'm looking over i'm looking through the trees i see a dude over there and i'm like oh heck no heck no i'm not about to do that there's mushin i'm like oh oh oh, oh. skirt I'm, I'm dodging him i'm skirting around him i'm going i'm not i'm not engaging with him and then uh my dude shows up and he starts fighting him and uh that was that was Mackie. i think he he just took the he took the death Fred shows up, kills a, a Zer dragon. Okay. So we're doing good. I basically <laughs> just ran away. I, was, I wasn't too proud of that moment, but, um, they're gone. So here I am. I'm capturing, capturing the stronghold. I'm over here on the, in the top right corner. You can see I'm in the, I'm in the thunder stronghold all by myself. Nobody knows I'm here. We captured their spawn and we're holding our spawn. So right now things are looking pretty good. We finally caught up on the, on the, on the points here, which is, which is fire. I'm looking for, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I'm wondering, does the enemy team know what we're doing right now? Because we pretty much all just split up and we're just capturing different strongholds. Uh, and they're pretty much sitting at our, at our spawn, uh, waiting for us to come back. Okay. So this, that's what's going down here. And I'm looking at the map and I'm like, okay, the enemy probably knows that, uh, they need to start capturing back some of their, their strongholds. So I go back to our spawn to see if I can, if I can uh, help out at all. You can see at the top here, we took the point lead. So now I'm like, okay, let's go to the middle. Let's see if we could take the middle. You know what I'm saying? I show up here. There's a battle happening and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to sit. I'm just going to go right over here and we're just going to chill. Uh, I noticed that rogue uh, kills the other dude. Saints is here popping off wolf chilla AFK over there. 
AFK. So I'm like, all right, I'll just jump in because I, I can't die to an AFK guy, right? So I deal, I deal a tiny, itty bitty amount of damage. And me and Saints here, we're chilling. He's got the white suit on with the red hair. He looks like he, he looks sick. Okay. Uh, so we're chilling. We capture the middle. This was huge. My map awareness to come over here and help Saints capture that. I think was huge okay now i'm gonna be real he did all the work he did the kills he got the kills he did he did the heavy lifting uh but i was there to capture the point a little bit faster okay so i felt good that i was able to contribute in that way and at this point i'm like okay if we can hold middle and i can just run around the map be undetected okay or, or maybe just distract them by grabbing different points maybe the heavy lifters can do the killing and i can do all the capturing and so that was my strategy moving forward we have the middle we have the point advantage we have their spawn right here. We see uh, Zodiac and Mushin just spawn. Anyway, things aren't looking so great right now, as you can see in the top right corner, because Water, Lake, and Fire have all been reclaimed. They've all been taken back by Red Team, but we still hold middle, which remember is worth almost as much as the other two combined. So now I'm like, all right, how do I get over to Fire? Because I just spawned at the middle. Remember, when you own middle, you can spawn there, okay? So here I'm like, all right, which one are they not at? Cause I'm just going to run over there and I'm going to, I'm going to cap it. Okay. I'm going to cap it here. I see motion. I start running away. I'm like, all right, they're at fire. So we know where they're, they're located at. So now I see that they're split up because they're trying to take lake and water at the same time. So like, all right, I'm going to go to water because at least I know that maybe one of my allies can spawn there and help me if that's the case. So I run over here and they had already taken care of them. They already popped off. They already killed them. Lake gets captured as well. And now we're looking good. We're still holding middle. And so essentially what's happening here is we have distracted them by flipping the the water and lake with fire and thunder we're just flipping those strongholds back and forth but they didn't realize that the middle stronghold is the most valuable one so realistically what they should have done is they should have sent all their forces to the middle taken the middle uh, and then got uh, spread out from there that's what i think they should have done I don't know what they were thinking. I don't know what they were doing. Maybe they weren't communicating. Maybe they didn't read the rules. I don't know. So we're popping off. Saints is an absolute giga Chad doing all the heavy lifting. Uh, we love to see it. And uh, here we are. We're, we're making our way downtown. We're going to fire and we're going to see if we can capture their spawn. Uh, and we can't. I see all, I saw all of them. I, I pulled up. Rogue ended the, the kill streak there, which was unfortunate. Saints was really popping off for quite a while. So they captured their, their spawn. And then I realized the dude in the back corner is AFK. So he ca the, the one dude captured his spawn and then left. And I just pulled up right behind him. I recapped it for ourselves. I'm like, okay, you could have our spawn, but I'm taking yours back. So here we are. I start getting hit. Okay. There's starting to be a little bit of a violence going on here. Some gang violence. Uh, but I do believe that even though I got one shot there, um, uh, I, I think I was a nice little distraction. Okay. So here we are. Saints is sitting in the middle. Cause he knows that we pretty much got this in the bag. Okay. You can see there's only a minute left and our point advantage is significant because we've been holding middle for quite a while now. And we just been flipping the other points back and forth. We just had a better map awareness and strategy for spreading out. I think that's really what got us the victory here. Um, and that's pretty much it. I think the enemies know at this point, there's really not much that they can do. Um, they would have to like full cap us the whole time to maybe catch up. Here we are. We are at their spawn. Okay. Zodiac is here at this point. We're just delaying them. Okay. We're just, we're just distracting them and we're popping off. I'm jumping in there and uh, you know, we're trying to get the, the W here. Zodiac goes down because it was a one V three and boom, there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, the best performer was saints by an absolute mile. Although, you know what, actually Fred and Tao mood Tao Mu. I'm just going to go with Tao Mu. I can't pronounce that. They actually were, they, they came in a little bit close. Freya had a, I think uh, behind me had some pretty good, pretty good map awareness here. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the final point breakdown. You can see saints is max level Fred max level, absolute uh, giga chads over here. So they had rogue 28 and eight, absolutely just, just a savage, absolute savage over here. Mushin 10 and five. We had Fred 14 and six. Okay. So we had some really heavy hitters here. Zodiac doing okay tau doing okay but it's all about contribution points look i had 740 contribution points it's all about playing the objective okay and the objective is what gets the wins and we got the w now you do get a couple of rewards for uh playing in this event obviously you get double the rewards if you are the winner versus the loser but you get some some fame this is a currency for your clan so you could buy stuff in the shop you also get rewards uh, personal rewards based on your ranking so uh, it looks like first, second, and third get a nice little chunk of fame. And you also get some of the relics, your attack relic keys. So that'll upgrade your skills for your attack relics, which is cool. And remember the clan fame is what you use to get some of your awakened skills. So if you're trying to deal the most amount of damage, and if you're trying to max all of your skills, you need, you need fame. 
you need clan fame so you want to make sure that you're doing uh, all the events that you can in your clan and playing with your clan mates to basically become as strong as you can be anyway guys if you enjoyed the video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton and it helps me beat the youtube algorithm if you're new here make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified of any future uploads i want to thank time raiders once again for supporting the channel incredible sponsors like time raiders help out the channel a ton so please be sure to download the game with the link in the description it's free go ahead and give it a try if you can join server five where i am that's great if not as you saw in the video there is cross server play so let me know in my discord if you do decide to start playing with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace